60 knots. What do you make of it in climbing? Whatever it was, we've lost the track. Possibly a large meteorite. Mm. Much too slow for a meteorite. Much too fast for a plane. Do we do anything about it? Negative. We're under orders to rendezvous with the fleet. Any unidentified flying objects, we'll just have to wait until then. Skipper. Better check this reactor reading. She's starting to rise rapidly. Approaching the critical line, sir. What's our speed now, Chip? Over 60 knots and climbing. Admiral? This is Crane. Yes, Lee? The reactor's approaching warning level. I'd like permission to damp it down. Well, the automatic control should handle it. Uh, if at all possible, I want to maintain flank speed to rendezvous with the fleet. I understand. But uh, keep me posted. Aye, sir. Still rising, sir. Just two points in the red line. Admiral, it's still rising. The automatic controls haven't cut in. That's strange. Reduce speed and uh, damp the pile. Aye, sir. Close the reactor fast. There's no response to the control. Missile room, emergency. Missile room, I. Get a man into anti-radiation gear. Have him shut down the pile by hand. On the double. Aye, aye, sir. Patterson, you're elected. You two, give my hand. On the double. Come on. Come on, come on. Get that thing shut down. Exposure can we take? Ten seconds. We better get out of here. Come on.
Any casualties? Patterson's badly hurt. We sent him to sick bay. What's the general estimate? It looks hopeless. We can't get at the main power plant at all. There's too much radiation from the reactor. With full anti-radiation gear, how long could a work party last? Less than five minutes. What about this emergency generator you hooked up? Well, if we don't drain off too much power, it should be good for another hour. After that... Gentlemen, I have an important order for you. I'd better give you a complete rundown on our situation, Admiral. There's no need. I've already made my estimate. I want you to prepare a nuclear missile for firing. What do you mean? The order is self-explanatory. We can't fire those missiles, not without White House authorization. I want the missile made ready. Is that clear? Aye, sir. See to it, Chip. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, this is sick bay. Patterson's conscious now. He wants to see you. Before you see Patterson, there's one thing about his condition I want you to know. What's that? A strange mark on his face. A sort of burn. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was made by a branding iron. How do you explain it? I can't. What's his general condition? Terminal. He accepted a massive radiation dose. Isn't there anything you can do for him? I can make him comfortable, but that's all. The effect of that amount of radiation is irreversible. He's going to die. Can I see him now? Of course. Skipper. No, take it easy. I, I just wanted to see how you were. Oh, I'm all right. I'm just tired. I guess I was lucky. That's right. Now try to get some rest. Skipper, wait. You, you got to get some rest, doctor's orders. It's about the explosion. Something I got to tell you. What? In the reactor room. When I went in, somebody was already in there. That's impossible. No, sir. He was in there, sir. I tried to get him out, but he knocked me unconscious. When I woke up in here, the doc told me about the explosion. D did you get a look at him? Yes, sir. A good look. Who was it? You're going to find this hard to believe, Skipper. Who? Admiral Nelson. Are you sure? Doctor, is, uh, is there any way the radiation could have affected his mind? He's rational, if that's what you mean. Oh, what about the sedative? Would that make his mind wander? He hasn't had enough to affect him. Why? <sighs> Nothing. Take care of him, Doctor. An explosion of an event. You better have Doc with it. Oh, no, 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 it's nothing but a bump. The last thing I, I remember was the, the sound of an explosion. What was it? We're dead on the bottom. 
There's not enough power to blow tanks. Nuclear power? That's right. We've got a massive radiation leak and no way to fix it. Unless someone else sacrifices his life. Someone else? Patterson. He's in sickbay as good as dead. There's no hope for him. I'm sorry to hear about that. So am I. He didn't have to die. In effect, he was murdered. Murdered? <laughs> I don't understand. He caught someone sabotaging the reactor. Who? You. <laughs> Look, I hope this isn't a joke. No, it isn't a joke. But the whole thing is ridiculous on the face of it. Even if I wanted to sabotage the ship and kill all of us, I couldn't have because I was here working. Until the explosion knocked me out. You were in the control room after the explosion. You talked to me, you gave me an order. <laughs> what order? To prepare a nuclear missile for firing. Now, why would I give you an order like that? Activated or not, they can't be fired without failsafe. Just the same, you gave the order. To me. I tell you I didn't. Isn't it just possible you did? You had a blow on the head, you could have been acting in a delirium. Only what about Patterson's story? Oh, Patterson's lying. Patterson only has hours to live. He's got enough knowledge of radiation to know that. A man in that condition doesn't usually lie, does he? But then Patterson was acting in a, in a delirium. How else can you explain? That? I don't know. Only what about the missile that's oh, been activated? Forget about it. Can't be fired without fail safe. Now, come on, we've got to save this ship. We have to shut down the nuclear pile. You know, water is one of the most effective shield leaks against radiation. If we can flood the reactor room, we can do it. And once we get the main generator going, we can clear our tanks and get off the bottom. Unfortunately, the, uh, the only way we can flood it is from the outside. A hole in the hull, that's a, that's a big risk, Ed. Well, that's what we have to do. Uh, this is the spot. Got it, Kowalski? Yes, sir. How big a hole do we make? As small as possible. We've got to weld the plate back on it. Oh, about uh, three inches in diameter. That'll be big enough. Aye, aye, sir. Three inches. Okay, Ski, you've been briefed. They're all set, Chief. Yeah, then here you go, okay? And watch out. You hear? Sure, Chief. Sure. Good luck. Hi, right, you man. Give him a hand here. Side skipper, working our way forward. Very well, Kowalski. Carry on. Aye, sir. Uh, Mr. Morton, I want a work party to check all watertight hatches between frames 47 and 53. We're going to flood that section. Aye, aye, sir. Will do. We're outside the reactor room, sir. I'm starting to cut through the hull. Kowalski? Kowalski, do you read me? Come in, Kowalski. What is it? Skipper. What is it? What happened? I don't know, sir. Some kind of electrical charge in the hull. We, we were knocked out. Electrical charge? But that's impossible. Can you handle yourselves now? Can you get back in here? Yes, sir. But what about cutting through the hull? I better not chance it next time I kill them. Forget it. Get back inside right now. Aye, aye, sir. Now what? I don't know. Let's get back to the control room. Take over, Chief. 
All right, Ron, lay up to the escape hatch on the double. All right, fellas. Help them out of the suits. Come on. On and double. Reactor room quarters sealed off. Good. Now, can a work party reach the main generator? Not until we find some way to shut down the nuclear pile. Or what's the radiation level on the rest of the ship? It's still within safe limits. As long as the temporary generator holds, we've got a little time to figure it out. We can't keep that rig generator running much longer. For how long? Ten minutes at the most. After that, no power. No air. All right, Chip. Keep it going as long as you can. Uh... We're kidding ourselves, Admiral. There's nothing we can do now. If, um, if we could shut down the nuclear pile, we could repair the main generator in short order. If the remote circuits are shot, Somebody would have to go into that room and damp the pile by hand. Well? It means a fatal dose of radiation, doesn't it? Certain death. Leon, I'm going to shock you with a suggestion. Now, nothing is more important than saving this ship and all of its crew. Agreed? Of course, but it means deliberately sacrificing another life. No, 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 it doesn't. There's one man aboard who's already as good as dead. Now, you send that yourself. Patterson. I told you it would shock you. Under any other conditions, it would be the last thing I'd do, but right now it makes good sense. Nothing can save Patterson, but he can save the lives of 125 men just by walking into the reactor room and shutting down the pile. I'll speak to him. you got less than 10 minutes. Sick Bay, this is the captain. Yes, captain. What's Patterson's condition? Reasonably good under the circumstances. He's sitting up. Very well. I'm coming down to see him. and sitting up. He was. Comatose. He just collapsed again without warning. Oh, no. Can you bring him out of it? I mean now. I doubt it. You've got to. We need him for something. It's vital to the ship. Well, I'm sorry. But even though I could bring him around now, judging by what's just happened, he'd be too weak to move. Are you sure? I don't like to be sure of anything, but I'm sure of that much. Is there some other way I can help? No, Doc. Nobody can help now. dropping all over the ship. He did it. Who, Admiral? Patterson, of course. Patterson, sir, is, is he all right now? I'm afraid not, Kowalski. But he saved the lives of the whole crew. We owe him a great deal. Where's Captain Grant? I haven't seen him since he went down to sickbay. 
I'll find him. Uh, get them working on the generator's chip, and we'll be off the bottom in no time. All right. All right. Admiral. Is your captain here? Oh, no, sir. He left some time ago. Uh, has Patterson come back in? Back, Admiral? He's never left. has been here all this time. Of course. He's much too weak to be moved. Chief, sir. Uh, aye, aye. Is he alive? Yeah. What happened to him? Somebody had to shut down that nuclear pile. He didn't bother to wait for volunteers. You mean in there with all that radiation? Yeah, let's get him to sit there now. Well, he, he really must have known. Chief! Huh? Oh, may I sit? Well? He's accepted a massive radiation dose. You go on. In a case like this, there can be only one prognosis. How long? A day. Two at the outside. You mean the skipper's not gonna lick this? He's gonna die? I'm afraid there's no power on Earth can save him, Chief. I'd make a deal with the... with the stars if they could help. Do what you can for him, Doc. I'll, um, I'll be back in a little while. I'm getting a response from main ballast control. You're right. The main generator's cut in. We can't blow ballast. Hey, 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 you guys hear that? We can lift this tub off the bottom. Hey. All right, all right. Knock it off. Now, man your stations. Engine room to control. This is the exec. Go ahead. The temporary repairs are completed. Standing by to answer bells. Very well. Prepare to get underway. Aye, sir. Full elevation on diving planes. Full elevation on diving planes. Aye. Blow all tanks for 10 seconds. Blow all tanks for 10 seconds. Aye. The generator problems look, sir. We're going upstairs. Very well. Inform me when you broach surface. I'll be in my quarters. Aye, aye, sir. Admiral Nelson. Who are you? <laughs> it's rather like looking into a mirror, isn't it? <laughs> It amuses me to assume various appearances, but of course it's not all mere amusement. I find it gives me a certain initial advantage. Besides, I don't think that you earthlings could stand the sight of my actual appearance. <laughs> oh, you, you see me all right, Admiral. And do not delude yourself that you can make me disappear by simply closing your eyes to me. I'm alone in this room. There's nobody here. Oh, then to whom are you talking? Well, I've uh, just had a bad shock that's done something to my nerves. Is it quite true, the shock of the imminent death of your friend, Captain Crane? Happily for you, I've decided to take you up on your offer. What offer? Just the one you made in sickbay. Well, I don't recall making any offer. Oh, but I do, vividly. Let me refresh your own memory. He's gonna die? I'm afraid there's no power on Earth can save him, Chief. Well, I'd make a deal with the... with the stars if they could help him. The stars? That unidentified flying object that fell into the sea? Uh, uh, Crane told me about that. And uh, now, my dear Admiral, about your proposition. But I made no proposition. I have just demonstrated the contrary. Captain Crane need not die. Oh, you can actually save Crane's life? Yes, we have the power to arrest death. I'll do even better. I'll save the life of the other young man, uh, the 
Patterson, isn't it? Ah, ah. In exchange for what? Your silence concerning me. And a small favor. Uh, such as? Oh, patience, Admiral, patience. Agree to the deal, and Crane will be saved. At Patterson, too, of course. Well, not until I know what the favor is. Sorry, I cannot tell you in advance. Uh, well, then, I can make no promises. It's too bad. In that case, both your friends will die within the hour. I hope that you're planning a burial at sea. <laughs> I find them so delightfully amusing. Wait. Yes, Admiral. You promise that Crane and Patterson will love you. You have my personal guarantee. Is the deal made? It's made. Crack the forward hatches. Aye, sir. Admiral, this is Morton. We're on the surface. Are there any orders, sir? Admiral Nelson. Admiral? Uh, uh. Chief. Sir. Lay up to the Admiral's quarters. See if he's all right. Aye, aye, sir. couldn't raise you on the intercom, so he uh, sent me up to see what was wrong. Wrong? Well, I was just... Uh, I was uh, concentrating. I, I didn't hear him. I know what you mean, sir. I've been kind of walking around in a daze myself ever since we got word on the skipper. Hmm. You haven't mentioned this to anyone else, Chief. No, sir. I just... Uh, I guess I got the feeling that if I didn't say it out loud, it just wouldn't be real. Well, I'll inform Mr. Morton now. No, let's uh, keep this between ourselves until after the repairs are made. They're all going to have to know sooner or later. Maybe not, Chief. It's possible that your instincts were right. Maybe if we don't put it into words, it won't happen after all. Oh, I was just shooting my mouth off, sir. I, I really didn't mean anything by it. Well, I did. Now, let's not discuss that further. Aye, sir. Uh, Admiral, I, uh, I hope you don't take this wrong, but, uh, are you feeling okay? I mean, it's, you've had a very bad shock, and I know... I told you we won't discuss it. Sorry, sir. Admiral Nelson, this is the ship's doctor. Yes, Doc, what is it? Admiral, something's happened down here. Could you come to sickbay as quickly as possible? Right away. There's some things you... Just don't have to be tall. Skipper's dead. You'd better come along, Chief. Aye, right, I see. Blood pressure, pulse, temperature, blood count, basal metabolism. Would you say that was the chart of a very sick man? I'd say it's the chart of a remarkably well one, wouldn't you? I don't know what to say anymore. I took these readings from Lee Crane less than ten minutes ago. Hey, Doc, does this mean what I think it does? The skipper's getting better? Not getting better. He is better. Hey. Now don't ask me how. I don't know. How about that, huh? Where is he? He's in there getting dressed. Captain, you've got visitors. Guess I just live right. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? 
It's nothing. It's all right. It's good to have you back on your feet again, Lee. We've just about given you up. Let me take a look at that hand, Admiral. Oh, it's nothing. It's just a... It's a nasty burn. You better let me treat it. Hey, Skipper, it's sure great to see you. Okay. <laughs> you know, you sure had the Admiral worried. Oh, what about you? Oh, me? I, I, I knew you'd lick it every time. A strong constitution. I can spot it all the time. <laughs> uh, how's Patterson? Is he still holding on? Ask him yourself. Come on, he's in here. How did you get this, Admiral? It was a little accident in my cabin. It's not important. Why? Because I treated another burn today exactly like it. Uh, who? Patterson. On his face. Hey, Admiral, look, he's okay. How do you feel, Patterson? Fine, sir. Never better. Hey, how about that? I'd like to take another look at that burn. Okay, sir. Help yourself. Something wrong with the burn, sir? No. No, there's nothing wrong at all. In fact, it's amazingly right. Now, our position is here. Our rendezvous point with the fleet is uh, right here. Once we get underway, we should be able to make it in a little less than uh, four hours. Mm, that's better than I hoped. Uh, all the repairs coming. Smoothly. Unless we hit a snag, we can hold to our original schedule. Good. Good. Come in, Admiral. I've been waiting for you. I gather it's time for reckoning. You're a practical man. I like that. All right. I'm listening. I've kept my end of the bargain. Both Crane and Patterson are completely well. Now you will keep yours. Well, I, I don't know what it is yet. You will in a minute. Let me show you something. Observe. It's our Pacific fleet. We're on our way to rendezvous with them now. Yes, Admiral, what will be a very fateful rendezvous. Look. And you shall see what the future will bring. <laughs> One picture I find is worth a thousand words. All right. All right, I get the idea. Splendid. My work is so much easier when I'm dealing with bright people. It's all ridiculously simple. Only one button to push. Just one button. And with it will come the greatest catastrophe the world's ever seen. <laughs> it will be a thing of sheer beauty. <laughs> Massive retaliation and counter-retaliation until the whole world is a cinder pile of devastation. <laughs> I can almost taste it now. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, other worlds besides your own are faced with a population explosion, Admiral. Ours is such a world we need yours to expand on. And the radioactivity that will result to feed our minds and bodies. Well, I'm afraid that you're in for a disappointment. You see, our nuclear missiles are not set off just by the touch of a button. There's an elaborate code system set up to prevent just such a tragedy. <laughs> Fail safe. You do me too little credit, Admiral. I've already taken steps to circumvent it. Well, if you could do that, if you could uh, fire the missile yourself. You don't need me. Ah, but I do. Unhappily, we are so psychologically oriented that we... we cannot kill. To accomplish that act, we must depend on other individuals. In this case, Admiral, you, therefore, you will push the button. Well, you must know that I won't do it. On the contrary, when you made a pact with me, you gave me control of your will. I can force you to push the button. It doesn't matter whether the button's pushed or not. Failsafe is completely tamper-proof. We've spent years of work perfecting this technique. And we have spent ages, literally, perfecting ours. Tampering is our specialty, Admiral. Come here. There 
you see? Only one more key remains to be turned. Yours. I won't do it. Of course you will. All you need is a uh, little encouragement. How did you get that? Know-how, Admiral. Sheer know-how. Your uh, turn, Admiral. Come now, just a simple twist of the wrist. The missile is already primed to strike its target. Then one touch on the button and your work is done. If I refuse, we have made a pact, you and I. There is no way in the world that you can refuse. Turn the key. I can't. Turn it. If you know anything at all, you know I can't touch that button. But you can. Whatever you may feel, you are no longer master of yourself. Press the button, Admiral. Press it. I can also reverse that power. This can cost your friend his life. Lee Crane made his decision to die when he deliberately walked into that reactor room. He did it to save the lives of all of us, and I happen to think that any man on Seaview would have done the same thing. No man's will is stronger than mine. No man's! You still have your chance. But only one. If he dies, even I cannot save him. So be very sure before you let it happen. When you watch him writhe in his final agony, press the button in time and he'll be saved. Remember that. I've already made my decision. If you got something to say, sound off. I didn't figure you wanted this yell at all over the ship. I mean, it's the captain's what, what, place to What are you it. talking about? A failsafe. We must be at war. Oh, war. Sure, sure. We're at war and I'm a... Oh. You keep your mouth shut about this. That's what I was trying to do. Skipper, when did it happen? What's that? War. What are you talking about? I just found the failsafe device, sir. When did this happen? I just saw it. Right, Kowalski? Right, gee. It can't be activated. I never used my key. Admiral, there's uh, something wrong with the failsafe. Has there been a red alert from Washington? No. 
Nothing. That's a malfunction. I'll check it out. What is it? Uh, nothing. Uh, just a crick in my side. I'll be all right. I'll let you know when I find the follow-up. Yes, sir. Are you all right now? Yes, sir. I feel fine. Just great. How about yourself, sir? Uh, just fine. Just fine. Look, I've um, I've got some work to do on failsafe. Get these uh, boys out of here. Hi, right, sir. All right, you guys, let's clear out of here. The captain's got some top secret work to do. Come on, let's go. very much, Captain. I'm seeing things. Not at all, Captain. At least not yet. Who are you? What is this? It's a long, long story, Captain, and quite beside the point at the moment. The question now is, do you want to stay alive? Alive? Of course I do. Good. I can help you. I can save your life. But you've got to work fast. What do you want? Just a little agreement. First, I will help you. Then at the proper time, you will help me. No. You must. I won't. You won't? Very well, then die. Lee, this is the Admiral. Have you found the failsafe trouble yet? The Admiral's impatient. He'll be coming to look for you. We can't have that, can we? Lee, can you hear me? Do you want him to find you dead? Or do you want to be free of the pain? I can help you. Give me your hand. Come on. Give me your hand. Sleep well, Captain. I'll be right back. Once I've dealt with the Admiral. Is there anything wrong with the skipper? I don't know. I better have a look. Don't bother, Admiral. Lee, what is it? Chip, the failsafe was sabotaged. Only an expert could do it, one of the designers. The Admiral's the only man aboard who could qualify. Put him under arrest. Lee? That's an order. Aye, aye, sir. Chief. Sir. We're done with Crane. He's uh, suffered a mental breakdown. He's dangerous. Take care of him. Take the Admiral to his quarters, Chief. No. Put him in the brig under close guard. The brig, sir? Carry on, Chief. Yes, sir. Admiral, I hear. Uh... It's all right, Chief. I won't give you any trouble. I'll be in the missile room if you want me. Oh. 
Oh, this way, Chief. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the bridge's that way, sir. I'm not going to the brig. We've got to get to the missile room fast. Oh, I can't let you go there, Admiral. You heard the captain's order. But that wasn't the captain. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, I know. It looked, it looked like the captain, but that is an alien from outer space. Oh, sure, Admiral. I saw that right away. You did? Oh, sure, sure, sure. I mean, uh, but I tell you, we'll fool him. Uh, he expects us to go to the missile room, right? But we'll go to the brig instead. Come on. Just my shoulder. Look, I gotta get to the missile room, okay? No, okay. You heard the captain's. <laughs> Take out your key to the failsafe, Captain. Your will is not as strong as Nelson's. The pain you've been through has weakened it. The key, Captain. Put it in the fail safe. Turn it. Good. Now push the button. There's no choice now, Captain. I will you to push the button. You're too weak to resist me. Push it now while you can. Now! Push it, Captain! Quickly! Quickly! It's too late, Admiral! The missile's on its way! The fleet system is destroyed! Sportsmanship, Admiral, is not our strongest suit. You have beaten me in a battle of wills. My superiors don't like it. I'm being recalled. But time is on our side, not yours. There will be others who will visit you, other wills to battle. Sooner or later, the nuclear holocaust will come, and our day will dawn on the Earth. <laughs> Next time, we'll be ready for you. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.